Hey yo, what can I say? This is beautiful, this looks like something, and let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're having a great time out there, hope you're all looking after yourselves. Today we're reviewing this magnificent sneaker, this is the Jordan 13 Red June, a sneaker very reminiscent of another sneaker, but before we look at the sneaker in total, because this is gorgeous guys, this is absolutely magnificent, please do like, follow, subscribe, come and chat to me, let's have a conversation, let's break it down like we always do, and please do check out the Shoe Dog podcast with me and the bro, 808 Kicks ATO, please do follow the bro and show him some love, 808 Kicks underscore ATO because on the Shoe Dog podcast we talk about sneaker drama, sneaker news, sneaker bad behaviour because we always take that to sneaker court public opinion and please do keep doing the awesome things that you keep doing by hitting your goals, hitting your targets, hitting them monthly, weekly, daily, whatever you need to do to keep grinding and to keep progressing because I want you to win, we all want you to win over here because we love to see you win guys but today we're looking at this special play which actually released today on the time of review which is the 25th of june which is absolutely gorgeous this is guys the jordan 13 june red As you can see from the B-roll guys, it's the review for the Jordan 13 June Red, a sneaker very reminiscent but not exactly the same as the Premium Bin 13s which actually came out in 2010 guys and those retail for about £1,300 and that is crazy prices for a Jordan 13 alone. Let's not even talk about the bin range because the bin range is ridiculously priced and these sneakers were limited but this is the closest we're going to get to the Jordan 13 bin or the Premium Bin because this is a gorgeous sneaker in itself in the way it looks because it's close it's very close to the bullseye but not the bullseye in total but before we look at the sneaker let's take a look at the box because hey presto shabang what you get in the silver box is all you need to know guys because the jordan 13 comes in the silver box silver all the way through like it normally does obviously the jumpman on the front is red university red not the actual june red that actually comes on the sneaker but inside the box you get tissue paper like you normally do guys that's what you get that's how it should be that's how it should come is there any stamps i can't see any stamps on this no there's no stamps but what you need to worry about is the box label and these sneakers are sitting because i actually walked into the retail store and picked them up and if you know that retail store you really know that's from offspring guys this sneaker obviously the label look should look like this they should come like this they should be like this guys make sure the label comes like that guys because the label does say age of 13 retro june red june red terror blush and that terror blush might be that clay looking suede on the actual jordan 13 which reminds me of the clock 13s a little bit reminds me of the clock 13s and i do need to go back and get those if i'm honest even though they're low but i do still need to get them but yeah guys this is a us 11 uk 10 eu 45 that's my size guys so watch to the end for the on feet that's all it's all about guys making sure you get your sneakers and you put them on feet but that's the box guys general regular 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 box for 13 with all the information on the bottom but that's the box now let's take a look at these sneakers it's sneaker time so hey presto shabang and as you can see guys this is the jordan 13 june red a beautifully constructed sneaker with all of those beautiful colorways coming into the upper the textured actual overlays on this is red june the underlays on this is this suede it's actually quite soft suede suede terror blush which is very reminiscent of the actual clock 13 like i said guys this suede is suading it is soft that suede actually wraps around to the actual midsole with a white pod and then you've got a white toe white tongue red june jump man which goes with this and the actual 
Jordan at the bottom, which is red June as well, which goes with the texture or the textured actual overlays on this. The textures overlays as well on this definitely have 3M material, which is absolutely dope because when you take a flash, it just shines. And I love the, like every, every Jordan 13, I say this, with every review of every Jordan 13, I say this, the pimply effect on this sneaker is actually supposed to replicate the pimply whiskers of an actual black panther or a panther or a, a a predator, a cat predator, basically. That's what it's supposed to represent. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. And even the cat side on the back of this is absolutely dope. You can see the jump man, you can see the 23, which is absolutely fire. That is the cat side of the 13. And if you know what a cat side is, you should know that this is a killer sneaker. Absolutely dope. Jordan 13s are always comfortable. I love this sneaker. Loosen the laces, put your feet in, and let the world ride that Jordan 13. Because as soon as you put this on your feet, guys this is super comfortable this is fit to measure and the, the, even the construction of this whole sneaker i love it in terms of what tinker did to the sneaker absolutely dope you got more red june uh actually on the sock liner and back of the tongue as well and even the insole is red june with jump man on it i'm not going to take it out because it's probably going to rip it and it is definitely a dream cell insole i want to try actually to see if i can get this out to show you guys but it's a red june basically insole and um it's going to be dream cell insole, which is going to make it even more comfortable when it is because dream so and so give you more i think the free i think they give you more of that comfort thing as you can see guys fabric on the insole is absolutely dope they bring quality to these insoles as well and this is definitely a dream so insole as you can see guys majority of the sneaker is basically like a regular jordan 13 fits to true to size i'm definitely gonna put this on feet for the end so watch out for the on feet to the end guys and this is a magnificent sneaker i would say if you want to wear something like this a jordan 13 just be mindful that that actual material does wrap around to the outsole and that, that basically is going to get dirty that blush terror blush is going to get dirty if you're not careful so if you want to wear sneakers like this make sure it's nice and summery i would say this sneaker is more like a summer slash autumn sneaker anyway because of the colors but you can definitely wear this in the summertime and it, it will bang in the summertime as well because of that white that the sneaker brings it's going to bring that shine to it you get more rope laces with this like a regular jordan 13 and that is basically what you're going to get there's no spare laces you don't get any spare laces and i think white laces go well with this it actually she just kind of defines the sneaker and if you know Jordan 13s they actually wrap inside as well rather than outside so it hides away the laces and tucks you in and gives you that lockdown I love Jordan 13s I absolutely adore Jordan 13s if you follow me you know that I would pick up any beautiful Jordan 13 and now taking that actual the actual tissue paper out of it you can see that how soft this toe is this material is not actually stiff it is actually soft so that is gorgeous that is beautiful and you can i can try to give you the tumble effect on this lever this is actually sitting i've actually walked into offspring this like 3 p.m guys 3 p.m and picked up this sneaker this is actually sitting you can actually go and check it out if you wanted to and if you like it go and pick it up guys because this is a beautiful representation and this is like the closest you're going to get to like the premium bin 13s because the bin 13, we know it's got that white, we know it's got that red June, but the only thing difference between the bin 13 and this variation is the actual clay blush. That clay blush is more pinkish and more of a, like it takes some inspiration from the clot 13. And I think the bin 13s is a bit more darker, it's brown rather than this clay effect, which gives it a bit of a difference. You're gonna always gonna recognize the difference between a red June and a bin 13. The only way you would ever get a bin 13 is if they actually release the bin 13 again. But this is going to be the closest you're gonna to get to a bin 13, and it's still magnificent. Absolutely beautiful sneaker and absolutely magnificent. This is getting my five goats. I love this sneaker. I'm gonna wear this. You can see this on my feet more regularly, and you're definitely gonna see the on feet at the end. There's so many things you can do to this sneaker guys you can do so many fits you can put to the sneaker i'm gonna try and put them at the end but yeah go and check out the on feet guys if you're interested in this go and check out the shop there's no resale don't even worry about the resale on this guys this is a sneaker that you can go into the shop right this moment in time and pick up and that's beautiful and i actually caught this and i actually went into the store on the day of release which is today the 25th and picked this up at 3 p.m this is this is wonderful absolutely wonderful but yeah like i normally do on this channel i'm going to give you that front perspective i'm going to give you that booty action back perspective with the cat side guys the lateral side that medial side and that beautiful outsole watch that red jump man at the bottom is all with a little bit of a hologram giving that 360 degree rotation make sure it's on your feet make sure you keep hitting the shoots and make sure you keep bringing that heat guys this is gorgeous this adds to my jordan 13 collection i think 
think I've got maybe 13, no, 14, I'm, I'm lost. I might have 15 pairs of Jordan 13s. Uh, I'll probably have to bang them out and show you guys what I've got, but because those 13s are awesome, like the Flints, the He Got Games, the Soulfly 13s, the Bread 13s, the Royal 13s, uh, the Court Purple 13s, yeah, yeah. I've got a lot of 13s that I might have to show you guys. But yeah, this is a gorgeous sneaker, amazing sneaker, and another review for Jordan 13. This is the Jordan 13 June Red. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely magnificent, and absolutely gorgeous, guys. Go and check that out if you can, guys. But that was the review for the Jordan 13 Red June, guys. Yeah, but go and check the sneakers out. They're probably most of the sneakers that you want are actually sitting in store, so go and check them out. Don't be afraid to go to the store and check out the pairs because some of the pairs are absolutely magnificent, guys. I'm talking about even the Pegasus 2, K25, I think I saw the other day that if that goes on sale, I'm definitely gonna go and pick that up. But this was the review for the Jordan 13 June Red. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for always coming back and thank you for always showing love, guys. But like I say, at the end of the review, at the end of the actual video, I hope you have an amazing week, amazing month, and an amazing year. And I hope you guys cop the sneakers you like because you deserve to get the sneakers you want from me, TJ, and Love Kit Customs. Peace out for now, guys, and peace. Just scuff a crown, iced coffee, kind of turned up in her right now. You know what I'm saying? I swear I'm the truth. I swear I'm the truth. I keep trying to tell them, but it ain't no use trying to convince these niggas, even though I got the proof. I just throw up the deuce. I swear I'm the truth. I swear I'm the truth. I keep trying to tell them, but it ain't no use trying to convince these niggas, even though I got the proof. I just Aye. sit by to the booth, the chosen one like Luke I spread my wings, I'm still in love like truth I ran myself full circle like hoops Bobbing, weaving through the traffic like coops Underrated on the pavement like some high-tech boots Take my aim at the game and I shoot Missed the target by a measure, now I do it for pleasure Ain't no rush, I can pop off at my leisure It ain't on me, boys in me, so I won't lose my clever Plus I'm straight, I ain't hurting for cheddar That's an old school reference, got a real shit preference I come at you with deference. I ain't studying you stepping. I don't care what you reppin'. I'm west side to the death end. I'm a town, ain't no guessing. Nothing more, nothing less. Ain't gon' ask for no blessing. I come through with the wrecking. I'm low key, no suspecting. You won't notice no weapon. I'm wide awake, you been slapping. I unsended the message. If I do miss some betting, it's on me, bring that check in. Boy, I swear I'm the truth. I swear I'm the truth. I keep trying to tell them, but it ain't no use trying to convince these niggas, even though I got the proof. I just throw up the deuce. I swear I'm the truth. I swear I'm the truth. I keep trying to tell them, but it ain't no use trying to convince these niggas, even though I got the proof. I just sit by to the booth. I'm coming back with more flavors. Put it all on the table. Similar to Jada, maybe it'll dawn on you later. I stay true to my nature, boy, I ain't never been a hater. I'm suave like Drake, but may not eat all my papers. Death to all the fakers, I'm just keeping it player. Half a vengeance like Vader, I'ma stay on the radar. Young and spirit, old soul, that's my gift from the maker. Walk the earth and sprinkle nourishment, something you can savor. You'll be thanking me later. 